So for many years I made works that were what you might think of as traditional paintings. But more recently, in the past five years, I've been experimenting with pushing painting into a place where it is more sculptural and sometimes coming off the wall and now being more interactive. Up, in, and in, and up. Let's not take it too high today. My work emanates from ballet, from the tradition of ballet, and then diverges quickly. And we want to keep sort of deconstructing some of the movement so that it becomes fresh and new. I have an ongoing project that I do with Julia Gleick, who is an amazing choreographer in New York City. And we were invited by UB Art Galleries to bring that project here. Being at the Center for the Arts, it's this vast big building and there's so many different things going on and so much fantastic research. And this project was a perfect opportunity of sort of crossing those lines from art and dance and bringing them together in the space. I was so excited to get to work with the painting students because they are getting to see what happens if you really explode the idea of painting being a singular object that you make in private in the studio. And then we have to figure out meaning of the objects, how they move, how we can hold them, how we can manipulate them. And through that process, some sort of story might emerge. This project, normally, I would say it really needed a month to happen, and we did it all in a week. We don't know what's going to happen with these performances. It's very exciting to leave it open for the process. I really enjoyed survival ceremonies because I think it did show what happens when artists across the disciplines get together and make something. And collaboration really allows for just a little more room for things to happen in ways that you would never expect. And, you know, maybe that's not the most comfortable place to be, but I think that's where the most interesting art usually emerges.